Well, hey, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Pastor Matt here with your daily RPM. Hope you're having a great day. Hey, don't forget to give us a like and a share. Follow me on Pastor Matt Ministries. This week, we're speaking about the rapture of the church and being absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Today, I want to teach to you a passage out of Matthew chapter 24, verse 36, and I want to read this to you. Number one, it says, but of that day, Jesus is speaking here. An hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so also will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark, and didn't know until the flood came and took them all away, uh, so also will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two will be in the field. One will be taken, one will be left. Two women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken, the other left. Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour the Lord is coming. And I want to just teach for just a moment on that. Many times, when it comes to the last days, people paint a doomsday scenario. People love fear, and negativity. Jesus is teaching that. Actually, he teaches this in, in, in three of the four Gospels. He teaches a similar passage to this. And he tells us that in this passage, it's going to be like the days of Noah. And he says there will be people eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. There are going to be two in the field. There's going to be two grinding. In other words, it's not going to be total catastrophe when Jesus comes back. Many people are so bound up by fear of the last days. Listen, when you're a born-again believer, there is no fear. There doesn't need to be any worry or any panic about the last days. We have been given the Holy Spirit. We've been given the Word of God. One of the things that Jesus said in that passage before the scripture I picked up, he said, See that you are not troubled. And so many people are troubled by the last days. And I would encourage you that we're going to be eating, drinking. People are going to be getting married. There's going to be fields being harvested. There's going to be grain to put at the mill. All that being said, we need to know we don't have to be all wrapped up in torment and fear. The last days are a good thing. Because for those of us that call on the name of Christ... We're going to be with him that much sooner. And for those that don't, when that tribulation period comes, that terrible time, that terrible seven years, that's not an act of judgment. That's an act of love. God is trying to do everything he can to wake them up so they don't have to spend an eternity in hell. I hope that helps you today. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. If you like this video, like and share, and follow my dad on Pastor Matt Ministries.